Hey everybody, it's Bill Stebbins from the Simulcast and BillStebbins.com. I am going to show you today the Nexus One desktop dock that I just received from my friends at Google. Um, I'm really excited to see this because I need something to dock my phone. I'm going to see if I can do that. Alright, so basically there is the end of my Nexus One. Unfortunately my camera doesn't have autofocus, but you can see there's three gold contacts. The dock will make use of those contacts to allow you to just slide the phone in and charge it without actually plugging anything into the micro USB, which is really a good idea because the less stuff you're plugging back and forth, um, the less wear and tear there is on the device. Okay, so let's see. Here is the dock. Pretty simple dock. Very nice. Feels pretty sturdy. Um, it's actually kind of heavier than I thought it would be. The phone's going to slide right in the front of that. You can see around back there's a micro USB right there. There's also a 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, the really interesting thing about this, this um, dock, and one of the reasons that I really wanted to get it, is even though there's nothing connecting the phone when you hook it up uh, to charge it, it'll use A2DP to send the Bluetooth audio to the dock connector and back out to wherever you want to plug it in uh, to play your speakers or whatever. Um, that's a really innovative feature. I haven't seen that in anything on any of the other uh, platforms yet. So hopefully that'll, that'll be something that moves along because I think that's a really cool feature. Alright, let's see. Other things we have in here. Another dock uh, this is the power for the dock. Interestingly enough, this is the exact same power cord as what comes with the Nexus One. So if you're in need of a Nexus One power cord, uh, and you're going to get the dock anyway, uh, definitely go ahead and pick this up. That's a really nice thing to have, a spare one. So I'm going to take that to work. That way I can uh, charge at work at full speed. Um, if you're not aware, the Nexus One charges slower on USB than it does over uh, the AC and I'm not sure why that is but it's noticeably different uh, about one percent for the AC charger per minute versus about half of that for the AC and I know it charges only at 500 milliamp hours but um, I think it should charge faster so anyway there is an adapter that's included uh, what this is that is a three and a half millimeter headset jack to uh, RCA so if you want to hook this up to, say, a surround sound receiver or, you know, an audio uh, with RCA, that's the way to go. If you've just got a regular 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, that'll work as well. Um, so I've, I've already plugged in my other um, AC adapter because I wanted to go ahead and, and show you what it looks like when this thing gets plugged in. Um, so let me see if I can plug this in without knocking anything over or dropping it. Alright, so there we go. There's that. All plugged in. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just drop my phone in there. Hopefully I don't drop it, drop it. Alright, so there you go. You can see there's a mode that it goes into um, that gives you the clock. It gives you some handy features. It gives you the time, um, the weather, the battery. It shows you if there's an alarm. You can also hit this up here and it'll dim out the screen, which is a really nice feature as well. Um, one thing that I'll show you in a minute. Yep, that's my employee. Sorry, William. You can go into slideshow mode. Um, you can also go into audio and you can go in and, and do your podcasts. And then if you want to play stuff, um, you can go through and do that. And it'll go through through the A2DP into the dock connector and out to wherever you're sending that audio to whatever uh, to play it back. Um, so I'm going to hit the home key. Um, I'm going to take a take a sh little break and then about two minutes in, this actually goes into another mode, which is a night mode, and it's really really cool. Um, so I want to show that to you in just a second. All right. I am back and there you see 
that is the time it's displayed uh, the the lighting in here on the glass is making it really appear differently but it's a bright green and one of the great things on the Nexus one is the screen is black I mean black like the border around the screen black and so the green looks like one of those older alarm clocks that you might have you know way back or maybe still if you still have it but um, looks really really cool that moves around the screen so it doesn't burn in the screen at any one point in time uh, very cool and uh, I gotta say this this dock it was forty five dollars from Google direct uh, I also picked up a spare battery exactly the same as what came on the Nexus one but it was twenty five dollars it's really nice to have the flexibility to go ahead and change batteries if I need to if I'm gonna be on a trip I can take another battery and have it fully charged and just pop it in don't have to add to the bulk of my phone um, I'm gonna be doing some more videos but man this thing is just every time that I pick up the phone I'm just completely happy with it it's just uh, it's awesome so anyway that's been a look at the Nexus One dock from Google and look for some more videos now that I've had about two weeks with my Nexus One I'm ready to go ahead and and start doing some videos on it so uh, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that and listen to the simulcast every Wednesday night at 8.30 at live.thesimulcast.com. Thank you for watching.